Hey, yo, what's going on, guys? It's Mike Reed here, and I wanted to come to you guys again with another little announcement for you all. So, I first I wanted to say thank you guys so, so much for all of the uh, views on my recent Twitter review videos, since I know that originally those were intended to be a sort of side series from what I normally have, but in this case, it's now just kind of become <laughs> a mainstay uh, for the channel uh, in terms of just regular content just because, well, first and foremost, they're pretty easy to make, you know, all things considered, just pull out my phone, do a couple things, and then bada bing bada boom, there you go, toy review video. <laughs> pretty simple stuff. Uh, compared to Let's Play videos that have a bit more, how do I say this, planning that goes into them in terms of when I record them and if my what do you call it, uh, capture software, this so I said actually work properly, let alone capture my mic, because, oh my god, I cannot tell you guys the many, many bloopers that I keep, uh, in, that, well, in the background, and or just delete, and let alone videos where I try to make them but I just didn't feel like the groove was there. Like, I just felt like I was rambling on like an idiot or something. And therefore, I completely scrapped them. So, I guess it's safe to say there's quite a bit on the cutting room floor. Well, not really because most of it's deleted. But, yeah. So, <laughs> that's, that's another reason why there has been a lot of Let's Play videos lately. That and just overall... Uh, as I've been hinting at for the last couple update videos, yeah, burnout's been a real problem. Uh, so, that and if you've been following my Discord announcements, which links are everywhere uh, for that, you will know that I've been shifting my focuses less on videos and more so on just spending time with my friends and, you know, giving them the time that they need and you know, in where a case may be. And, of course, focusing on college as well, because, you know, education is important, so got to do that too. Uh, that said, I don't want anyone to think that I'm just completely done with Let's Plays and I'm just doing tour reviews for now on, because no, 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 no. No. That is not happening. Uh, but... Move, shifting gears to Let's Plays, because I do have a couple things I want to talk about in regards to that. So, I know I mentioned before that I did want to, you know, get some skeletons out of my closet. You know, finish some Let's Plays that haven't really been finished, and continue Octo Expansion for Splatoon 2, and wherever the case may be. And I'm sure a couple of you are wondering, what the heck is going on with Octo Expansion? Why hasn't there been a new video on that? Well, outside of the obvious, um, to be honest, I don't really have plans to continue Octo Expansion. I really don't. Because, to be honest, I just haven't... I'm just not too terribly interested in Octo Expansion anymore, because, well, for... I already know what happens in the story. Like, I already know, like, Inner Agent 3. I realize how difficult that boss fight is. I understand, like, the story and the whole, like, narrative of, right, the Octolinks trying to, you know, be freed from, um, right, Octavio's uh, regiment and to live peacefully alongside the Inklings, or case maybe. So it's like, what would be the point? <laughs> The only reason I would really go back to finish Auto Expansion, at least these days, would be if I'm really desperate to play something, that, or I just suddenly got the knack to play it, but that's really about it, so, at this time, just don't get your hopes up for Auto Expansion, because at this point, you can basically consider it a dead series now, but, um, that said, I do still want to play Splatoon 2 at some point, do some Salmon Run, maybe do some private battles with some people, uh, if I actually get some people together, but that's gonna be a pain in the butt, but, um, you know, do some Turf War, that, this, that, the other, so I still want to continue Splatoon 2, but... Uh, I don't really know when I'm going to be able to do that or how I'm going to do that, but I'll figure that out when I get there. Um, currently, right now, um, I do have...
plans uh, regarding uh, Sonic Frontiers since I know I made an announcement saying that I was going to put that on hiatus until the game was fully released. And by fully released, I mean fully updated and all the content that was supposed to be added, you know, it's added. So, um, and we did get an announcement for that, I believe, last month uh, from Sega. They actually announced uh, when the final update's coming out. Was it the Final Horizon? So, super looking forward to that and definitely expect that to come out uh, later this month. So, yeah, keep your eyes out for that because that is coming. And I will go ahead and put up, uh, or I will re-upload... Um, or just reopen access to the first two episodes uh, when those come up. Since I originally did plan to just re-record the first two episodes, but, eh, screw it. <laughs> Might as well just put them back up. Because they were already pretty good. And you guys seem to enjoy that quite a bit. Even though I will admit, some of my commentary I think could have been a bit better instead of what I delivered, because I was basically just talking about nothing the entire video, but... Eh, it's all right. You guys liked it anyway, so hey. <laughs> I guess I did something right, right? So um, then I got plans for the new Sonic game, uh, Sonic Superstars. Uh, I'm not going to bother like trying to hype it up or anything. Just, yeah, it's coming. <laughs> it, it shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone, especially if you've been following me and um, you know for a while now and have seen my Sonic Mania videos and whatnot. That, yeah, you already know that, I was gonna, that I'm going to do Sonic Superstars. I already got the pre-order for the Digital Deluxe uh, some time ago. Um, I think it was actually a couple weeks ago. So, yeah, that's coming. That's coming, too. Um and also, for those who are probably wondering where the heck uh, Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe's additional sort of side story, uh, the Magalore epilogue is. Because I know I did talk about Magalore epilogue, and I was going to do it, and, well, all I have to say is one word, college. And two, uh, I genuinely lost interest in Magalore epilogue. I don't really have plans on playing that anytime soon. So, yeah, you can basically consider that a dead idea until maybe sometime in the future, or maybe in the next month or so. Maybe I might pick it up. We'll see. But for now, you might as well consider it dead. Um, what else is there? Um, I'm still working on uh, the... Uh, Bakugan and Beyblade reviews since I know you haven't seen any of those for a while and that's because honestly I haven't got any new burst stuff which I know for some it's like oh my god it's the end of the world he hasn't gotten new burst stuff but no I haven't because oh my god the prices they're just getting worse like every time I look and see if the Takaratomi stuff has dropped in price or not I look and I'm just like okay I guess I guess I'm gonna have to say goodbye to my liver. <laughs> so uh, there's that, and well, I haven't really got out to a store in a while since the last time I went to a store was what? Oh, I can't even remember. Uh, and I got those mythics. If you guys remember that, that little lot of six that I got, uh, I believe it was six. Um, yeah. So that's the last time I've really went out to go buy Bakugan. But other than that, I haven't really had a chance to uh, check it out. I have looked at the new stuff, the new products, and what they got going. And yeah, it's basically more of the same. But it, but I do like the new designs and the new uh, characters that they're introducing. It does look very interesting. So definitely want to get that. And Beyblade X. I know I talked about possibly getting into Beyblade X or whatnot, but honestly, I'm kind of on the fence. I haven't really been keeping up with the news with Beyblade X as of recent, just because I just don't really care much for Beyblade X anymore. Yes, it was cool at first, and don't get me wrong. Like I, like I have seen that they're still that they're obviously pumping out new products and new designs and whatever case may be. But it's like, I just don't really care for it anymore. I just, I don't know. Not to mention, where would I put all those Beyblade X stuff if it's going to get as massive as Burst and, you know, get all these different releases and whatnot? Where am I going to put all that? Because you guys have seen my Burst collection, if you remember my uh, my little short uh, reference that kind of made a joke on how much money I spent on all that Burst stuff, which I know is probably a lot. So... 
It's just I, I'm running out of space. I am. I'm running out of space. Um, but, but that said, I'm still going to be doing Lego reviews. That's still going to keep going because uh, I know my last one was the March Over Perseverance, which I think is funny that it just hit 69 views. Like, how, how perfect. How perfect of a view count for that to hit. But... Um, so those are going to keep coming. Keep looking for those Lego car reviews. Uh, I do plan sometime towards the end of the year to do like a over, like just a massive review of every single Lego car I have. Because I know for many of you, you probably think all I have is the Technic ones. But no, no. I, have, I also have the Creator Expert, or as they call it now, the Icons versions as well. Uh, since I recently picked up uh, the most recent one, which is the uh, Corvette C7. So I did get that. Uh, I was debating on doing a review on that or not, but I'm going to save that for uh, for the massive just overview you know, of just all the Lego cars that I have. Since I think you all will like that since you seem to like since it says it seems that the individual videos are popular. So why not just do one big review of just all of them? Um, so, might try to uh, include timestamps in there since uh, it's, it's probably going to be a, quite the long review, but it should still be a really good one for, for those that are interested in just seeing every single Lego card that I have in just one big, massive video. But, anyway, so, yeah, that's going to be about it for this one. Uh, if there are any other questions, comments, concerns, you know where to put those, comment section down there. Um, and hope you guys enjoyed this little announcement. So uh, I'll catch you guys uh, in my next Let's Play video that I do. Better read, squad, and have a good one.